Hi guys. I got several requests to do a marble tutorial. Um, I was working on the Horus uh, Primark for Forge World and I did some stairs. So I'm going to show everybody just how to get the marbling effect that I got on these stairs. I'm going to use the banister to demonstrate. Alright, the colors that I'm going to be using in this tutorial are P3 Bootstrap Leather, Rucksack Tan, possibly, Minoth White Base, Minoth White Highlight, Mara White, and Battle Dress Green. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be base coating with the bootstrap leather and I'm not completely 100% covering the entire um, primer. I'm mostly just trying to get a thin layer on the parts that would be the lightest areas. If there's a little black coming through that is okay because there's lots of little cracks and crevices in this um, banister that you're going to want to keep dark. and that primer is going to help you do that. So I'm just coating as much of this as I can fairly quickly. I mean, and I thinned it out quite a bit. I don't know if you can see the consistency it is roughly like thin milk. So the next step, I took a little bit of the Mar Minoth White Base and I've thinned it down so that it's pretty thin and I'm just going to basically do a glaze of the veining, the first layer of veining. You're basically layering the different marble veins over your base coat. And I try to keep them in the same direction. Um, And do thin ones, thin lines, thick. Okay. And it does not matter um, at this point if it if it's some of them are very thin and some are not. And you're going to be basically layering even more so you get that deep ripple look that you want to have in marble. So, on the other side, you're going to go the same direction, but on the other side. So, you're going to vein this way. And, again, thick and thin. And every now and then, you'll want a little fork. You want your vein to fork because that's what marble does. And that's what's really going to make it look the most realistic is being able to have that vein kind of split off every now and then. You see it's, I put a lot more paint on that side than I did on the others, that's okay. So, and then, on the top here, I think I'd like it to follow the same direction as this top of the stairs so that when I'm looking at it, it goes the same direction in a, in a pattern like that. So, I'm just going to do different, different consistencies. This is a fork right here. I need a little bit of paint here to do a thin line. Eh. Okay. And as I said before, you 
you're going to do layers. So don't don't worry about it too much if the first first set of lines is not thick enough because you're going to go back over that. So since I had a little bleed, I'm just going to pull that down and make that look like I did that on purpose. Same thing here. Whenever I make a mistake on a, on a mini or on a painting, um, the rule of thumb is just work with it. If you can make it look like you did it on purpose, then go with it. The next color I'm going to layer in is the rucksack tan, and I, the rucksack tan um, I don't use a lot of, but I'm going to use it to basically define out these brown lines here, so that they are broken up. The brown lines are going to come out and be the actual veins, so they're going. To, we're going to be basically painting, um, making those as thin as we can. And again, we're going to fork and just wiggle it so that you've got different um, consistencies. I like to use a brush. It, it sometimes helps to use a brush with a very long bristle like this because it helps you um, push and pull. but. for now. The next color we're going to use is the Menoth White Highlight and as we're putting these veins in we want to be extra conscious that this is also the highlight. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over where my highlights would already hit and pull out those first. And that's going to be on the edges of your banister here. There's going to be little crevices that you want to highlight. And then, of course, the edge of the banister where the broken rock is. Okay. Now, again, we're cutting up those brown lines so they get thinner and thinner. It's okay to make the men of white highlight lines a little thicker than you've been making the other lines. And also darker, like not darker, but like that. <laughs> and run those together. I'm looking back at my lines here. I want to try to keep the same line consistency. I'm going to go back and cut up those dark lines again. Now I've used got the Mara White and I'm basically going to be repeating that last step with the white. And since this is my top highlight, I'm going to cross over some of those other lines. Making those very thin. And again going back and making sure to pull out my highlight. Battle Dress Green is the last color I'm going to use, and I'm going to use this solely so that I can create an effect that makes it look like moss has grown on my marble and aged it. But because I don't want there to be actual moss, I don't want to use flock, it's not going to be the scale, 
I'm going to use really thin. You can barely see that there's even paint on my brush. And I'm just pulling that in a glaze over parts of the banister here where you feel like moss would collect, maybe on the edges here, some of them. Like that. Just enough to bring it all together. You can even go next to some of the veining even. And now you can see that goes really well with my stairs. And I will just repeat this on the rest of the banister. And um, the last thing I did was I went over um, my marble with a gloss coat to give it um, an actual glossy consistency. However, I also used um, weathering pigments um, around the edges to give the, the marble a, a dusty effect. So I did that before I did the gloss coat. So what I'll end up doing is going back in there with the weathering pigments before I varnish everything so that it um, it's the last thing that I do. And I, I don't know if I'm going to do very much on this part of the ban banister, but I'll definitely have some of that dust settling in the the railing here and in the um, the spokes of the banister. Well, that's pretty much how I did the marbling. And if you have questions, you can feel free to ask me in the comments or PM me um, on my Facebook page. Thanks.